G'day. Yeah, I just went out for a, um, a run today. I uh, had a really good night's sleep last night. Uh, like even more than what I usually, I think it was eight or nine hours or something like that. Felt really good. Um, so thought I'd go for a spin this morning and maybe top and tail. So maybe do some Ks tonight as well. Um, when I first headed out, the plus three in performance was promising. Um, got about halfway through and then it started to drop, which, because, because there's something that has been puzzling me and I'm thinking about it again now is when you head out and you look at that performance thing by Garmin, whether that's actually going to, uh, go over. So if it actually starts to drop, is that a bad thing? And that's what I've been taking it as, as in, well, time to turn around because the performance number is going into the negative so therefore I'm not doing myself any good in saying that though I'm going to go back and have a look at the marathon in Port Ferry because when I first headed out to that I'm pretty sure it was plus five so really promising after tapering and the rest days that I was having and then at the end of the race it actually said my reading right at the end when I'd finished taking into account the actual marathon it said I was peaking, so very interesting in that basically that meant that I could go and run another marathon. I might have a look at what the performance was throughout that. So if it went plus five, plus four, plus three, plus two, plus one, I went down into the negatives and at what stage it was in the negatives, if it was at all, during that marathon run, which means... I shouldn't be turning around. If I'm heading out and it's plus three, I should be going for a long run, um, like as in 10 or 15 Ks. If I'm heading out and it's plus one straight away, probably shouldn't. If I'm heading out and it's plus five, even if it's going to drop, at what stage do I take that drop as turn around and go home? So uh, I'll do a bit of study. But yeah, look, I'm feeling good. I'm not out of breath. I had a conversation for about 15, 20 minutes whilst I was running. So it was all quite real, the, 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 the easy pace. And like I said, I'll head out tonight, do a little bit of an experiment in regards to um, whether it's going to say plus one or plus two tonight, even though it's saying I need 16 hours rest, which I just looked at. Um, it's now saying maintaining. So my fitness level hasn't gone up, which is fine. I'm happy with the maintaining. I'm not happy with um, that it's going against my performance. I hate it when my Garmin says that to me, and which is the thing that I don't want to happen. So and I would love to go for a long run tomorrow. So I'll have a think about it over the next few hours, have a look at the uh, what it said for my marathon during the marathon in regards to that performance thing because I'm pretty sure I can get that information off the Garmin website. Uh, and in graph form as well. All right, signing out.